Yellowstone has really taken over the recent TV world, as this show is literally everywhere. Every time someone mentions what shows you should be watching right now, Yellowstone comes up and it's all for a good reason. The show is fantastic and has some amazing moments that make the show well worth a watch. So stay tuned to today's video as we're discussing some of the best lines delivered by the Duttons. First up we have, what are these best lines then? The Duttons are the main focus of Yellowstone and because of how well written they all are, each character has some really great lines that fans remember. We all know that a character's iconic lines are what stick with us after the episodes and the series pass. So each of the main Duttons have had at least one line on this video, so stay tuned to hear them all. Each line in this video is something that fans have remembered and really show how well written Yellowstone has been since it began. A well written show stands out and sticks around in this quick moving market of television. It's been a long time since a show has taken over the planet like Yellowstone has and it's nice to see. So here we go with each of these amazing lines. First up is John Dutton's very iconic line from throughout the series. Lawyers are the swords of this century. Words are weapons now. I need you to learn how to use them. Season 2, Episode 6. Your grandfather used to say that you can't fix a broken wagon wheel, but you can use the parts to make a new one. Season 2, Episode 7. It's the one constant in life. You build something worth having, someone's gonna try to take it. Season 2, Episode 9. We're enemies now. Season 2, Episode 9. All the angels are gone, son. There's only devils left. Season 2, Episode 4. Next is Beth Dutton. You're the trailer park. I'm the tornado. Season 3, Episode 5. I made two decisions in my life based on fear, and they cost me everything. Season 3, Episode 5. I am the rock therapist who breaks themselves against. Season 4, Episode 1. Everything I do is for him, and everything you do is for you. Season 1, Episode 3. Where's the fun in wrecking a single man? When I break you, I want to know I'm breaking generations. Season 1, Episode 3. And our final Dutton is the only line from Jamie Dutton. This one is from Season 3, and it's super powerful. It really shows his character and the status that he wants to uphold. A man puts a hand on a member of my family, never puts a hand on anything else. Season 3, Episode 3. There are obviously many more iconic lines from the Duttons, and from other characters in the show like Jimmy Herdstrom, Carolyn Warner, and Lloyd Pierce. What do you think about these lines? Let us know down in the comment section below. Also, tell us how you're feeling about Yellowstone recently. Are you excited about this new season on the horizon? Let us know. And now we have some other Yellowstone news and information from the past few weeks. Next up, everything you need to know about the Yellowstone prequel. It has now been revealed that a brand new series is in the works with more about the Dutton family's rich history from the past. From what we know right now, the series is going to be set in 1932. It's going to be a prequel to Yellowstone and a sequel to the recently wrapped series of 1883. This is some amazing news and fans should be super happy about this happening in the first place. Some theories don't get the attention Yellowstone has and deserving series fail to grab a new season or anything after its first outing. We also know some of the cast of this Yellowstone spin-off series. Many of the actors are of course under wraps until things are fully shown off once production has begun. However, we do know that some of the characters from 1883 are going to appear in the series. They are of course going to be much older than before and even include some of their descendants. John should be in his mid-60s when this new series takes place. So you can imagine the other cast members will either be super old or even dead by this point. It's a large time jump between these series, but it's going to be super cool seeing these characters pop up once again. So when is the series set to air? Well, sadly, we don't have a release date for this show, but we can estimate when it might hit our screens. From what we know, the fifth season of Yellowstone and several other shows are going to be released soon. So this means the other shows might either be announced fully alongside it or even show off during trailer seasons. It's going to be a crazy time for Yellowstone fans. We will, of course, keep you updated with more Yellowstone news and both 1883 and 1932 news. Let us know what you thought about this news and the announcement of another Yellowstone spinoff. Are you down for all these spinoffs? Or would you want a different type of show from the same people of Yellowstone? Let us know. Finally, we have some fan questions that need answering soon. So our first major question the entire fan base has been asking about is something that happened at the end of Season 2. This is what happened to Jamie Dutton's baby. If somehow you don't remember at the end of Season 2, Jamie's ex-girlfriend told him she happened to be pregnant and it was his child. Fans were eagerly awaiting to follow up to this during Season 3. But when the credits rolled on that final episode, there had been nothing throughout the season that even referenced it. So now for season 4, fans are wanting some answers to this, as it's been burning for a few years now. Even after we saw Jamie's sister Beth talk to him about getting his ex pregnant, fans were still left wondering what happened to this baby, and if it has any significance to the later storylines. Hopefully we get some sort of answer in the upcoming season 4. The writers surely have seen fans wanting an answer and talking about it on social media. They left it at an awkward cliffhanger, so it's gonna be on their minds for even longer. Fans really want an answer, and this season really needs to give it to them. This is another question that has been burning away in fans' minds for multiple seasons now, and is still yet to be confirmed by the writers, the cast, or anyone related to the show. That is, does Casey know all the Dutton family secrets? One of the main plot lines within Yellowstone was Casey moving back to the Yellowstone ranch after being estranged from the Dutton family for years. He returned with his wife Monica and their son Tate throughout all the current three seasons of the show. We have seen him develop as a character and take over from his father as the livestock commissioner. He has changed a lot and is moving up the Dutton family. 
die. Fans have enjoyed this character arc with Casey, but have one huge question around it all. If he's getting deeper and deeper into the family and is on the path to become head of the family someday, he needs to know about the family's secrets, right? Currently, we have no idea if he knows any of the large secrets the Dutton family holds, and the show really needs to let the audience know what is going on. Whilst this is all probably leading up to one large storyline that has had many seasons of setup, fans still want some sort of answers to this burning question. It needs to be explained and answered, otherwise fans will never be satisfied. It's not even like fans brought it up out of nowhere. The show has been setting it up for years now. Whilst it was only revealed during Season 3 that Jamie was an adopted child and was adopted by John and Evelyn when he was only three months old, fans have been eagerly awaiting the explanation for what happened and what led them to adopting him. Season 4 is likely to explain this, but also it could maybe not happen. This show seems to have a record of not answering things for a long time. It is getting to be a trait of it. According to what we know, Jamie's biological father killed his mother and headed off to prison, leaving behind Jamie at only three months old. This doesn't really explain why John and Evelyn specifically adopted Jamie. There is no real reason presented. Fans are wondering if they wanted to raise him as their own for their family, or maybe something else is going on that hasn't been explained as of yet. This is a burning question as it's going to open up a huge wormhole of plotline when they finally do. Though we don't know if season 4 will be its last, Yellowstone clearly has a lot of things its fans want answering with haste. And that's the end of today's video. Make sure to like the video, comment down below, and of course subscribe to the channel with the notification bell rung. Thank you for watching!